Hello, yes, this is the taste test video. Yes, Tim and Vincent will be in this video. However, first things first, I announced on my haul video that's posted right before this one that I'm going to be doing a mystery bag giveaway. I have three bags here, three mystery bags, ready to go to three lucky winners. So I wanted to first share with you guys what are in these mystery bags. So this is the one that I'm gonna open for myself. And I just also wanted to show you guys, it's not like I need any more bags, but honestly, it's really fun to see what's in it. So let's open it up and find out what's in this big, massive brown envelope. Let's see, what is the first bag that I got? Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, I do not have this one. This is Michigan. Very pretty, I like the colors. So fun, I'm so glad I got a bag I don't already have. It says, did you pick up flour to make the pasties? Pasties, who? I don't get it. <laughs> okay, bag number one. What is next, what's next? Bag number two. Oh my gosh, another bag that I've never gotten before. How exciting, this has a horse with a hat on it, a horseshoe, it says off to the races. Can I get a mint julep please? So fun, which city? Oh, Kentucky, the Kentucky Bluegrass State. Very cool, I'm like lucking out with this one. I don't, I don't have any of those bags. And then the last one, I already see the tag, it says Indiana, another one I don't have. So fun. Very cool, Indiana, oh I love the back. Look at this, it's a can of corn with some flowers. Actually, those are peonies, my favorite flower. So yes, this is an example of what you could be getting in your mystery bag. Three Trader Joe's reusable bags, all from different states. Here are the rules to enter into this contest. You first must be subscribed to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and then comment down below something from this taste test video um, about the food. So just let me know whatever you want. You can say whatever you want. And then bonus entry if you are following me on Instagram. So if you are following me on Instagram, please leave your Instagram handle as well in the comments and I will just do a double entry for you. So everyone can participate that watches this video, but if you follow me, you get an extra entry. Lastly, the cutoff for this contest is gonna be on Thanksgiving, so that's the last day you can enter. I will be announcing the winners on December 3rd, that's a Friday, and it will be in my Trader Joe's haul that day. So let's go ahead and check out this week's taste test. We just hold tight. We're up the moonlight. Believe in the magic. Here we are back and ready for the taste test. And I wanted to show you guys first and foremost these apples. So I cut them and they are literally so beautiful. But look at this. So this is the rose apple and this is the glow apple. These are supposed to be a little more tart and these are supposed to be a little more sweet. So I did peel the skin off for Benson to try. But look at this apple. Like all around, this is skinless and it is so pretty. So we're gonna go ahead and try this. Let's do, do you wanna do the tart or the sweet first? Uh, I'll start with the tart. Tart, so yes, this side. No, no, those are Benson's. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> he gets two, okay. Yeah, he gets two. Go ahead, right. babes. Pink apples? Ooh, those are sour. Heart, mm -hmm. for sure. <laughs> wow. They're delicious, though. They're really good. Really good, super juicy. Mmm, I like these. Yeah, I do too. What do you think? Good. Yeah, you love apples. <laughs> All right, well, this is definitely something that I, I wish was year round and it probably isn't, but I'm gonna try now the rose apple. All right, me too. Wow, so cool how red these things are. Oh. Uh, this is, um, uh -huh. More mild tasting, I think just because it's so, mm. the other one was so tart. This one is definitely sweeter, so I agree with um, my coworkers' assessment of these. Um, but these are beautiful, like honestly, so pretty. I love these. Benson gives it a thumbs up too. <laughs> now we're gonna try the Cheese Biscuit Duo. Mmm, let's see what these look like. Okay, so it comes with two, different bags 
cheddar cheese biscuits and gouda cheese crumbles. Let's try the crumbles first. All right, so this is what they look like. Mmm. They smell mm. real cheesy. Yeah, they smell really good. They're gonna probably be great with the apples. Mm. Oh. <laughs> are, oh my gosh, those are really good. They are really good. They're like moist. It's weird. Yeah. They're still crunchy. Like, I thought if you dried out the cheese enough, it would just be just crunchy, but there's mm -hmm. like still moisture locked in there and the flavor doesn't go away at all. It totally tastes like a biscuit That's, with yeah, cheese in it, it, but it's very cheesy. So you're getting a lot of that cheese flavor. Ooh, that's good. Those are dangerous. Good thing it's a small little bag. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try the cheddar cheese biscuits. And Benson's just a little behind. Do you want to try your cheese biscuit? Mm. He says no, and then he will later. <laughs> so now we have the cheddar cheese biscuits. Mmm, little surfboards. Still this, good. Mm -hmm. I prefer it. It's like a cheese it. Yeah. Like straight up. I like the Gouda more though. The Gouda crumble has a lot more flavor. So I agree with Tim. I think the Gouda one's better also. These ones are very cheddar-y. Um, they, they're still delicious. They just don't have as much flavor as the Gouda one. So that's why. Yep. It wins. I need to wash those biscuits down. So I'm moving on to the White Claw. <laughs> are you excited? Yeah, I, I mean, we'll see. I, I don't know how this is gonna go, but I'll give it a shot. So I grabbed the ruby grapefruit and the black cherry. I put these in the freezer, so they're real cold now. Um, I'm gonna just do the black cherry because that's what everyone talks about, is the black cherry. So we'll see how that one fares. We're gonna let Tim do the honors since he's so excited for this new <laughs> product. I mean, I've never had Four Loco and I've never had White Claw, but I hear there's similarities. Uh, really? Four Loco is supposed to be intense. This is like... I don't know. I have no idea. I literally have no idea, so I could be completely off, but I'll try this one. Okay. That's that's super mild. It tastes just like a like a black cherry sparkling water. Wow, this is way too easy to drink. Now I get it. I get it. These are like very refreshing. They quench your thirst. They're bubbly. They have that very subtle hint of black cherry. It's very delicious. On the back end, I will say it tastes a little bit like a wine spritzer, but very mild, very mild. Um, I was gonna say black licorice on the back end. Oh, I get that too. Right? That's I'm not true. crazy. Yeah. But I did taste like a wine flavor too while yeah. I was drinking it. Like I definitely got. It tastes like a wine spritzer to me exactly. But I do. I know. I got it. The black licorice is on the back yeah. end too. I agree. I'm really curious, and hopefully one of you guys knows, but. The alcohol that's used in this, it doesn't say, it just mm. says alcohol. So if anybody knows if it's like a vodka based or whatever type of alcohol it is, I'm curious to know because alcohol itself, just plain old alcohol, isn't very descriptive. Yeah. Tried the black cherry. Now it's time to try the grapefruit. See if that one does as well as the black cherry. But I like it. I think it's good. I mean, I totally see the appeal in this. They're a little too easy to drink. And they're only about five, though it's 5% alcohol per volume, so Ooh, it's, I like gonna the be, it's gonna be that like a beer. Favorite. It's not gonna be like some <laughs> super hard drink we're having. True. That one's delicious. This just yeah. tastes like a sparkling grapefruit. That doesn't have any alcohol flavor at all. That's so good, oh my gosh. The back, back end flavor of that one also, I get a little bit of, of uh, black licorice too. Really? Yeah. I don't, I, I don't do. taste that. So maybe that's the alcohol they use. Maybe it's like a gin or something that like has a like a, yeah, a Jaeger. A clear Jaeger. Uh, maybe. <laughs> now I thought it would be fun to try the Over the River and Through the Woods Trail Mix. Truck Mix, whatever. Same thing. So this has a bunch of different nuts in it to you, Tim. And there's other things that you would probably like. Pretzels? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chocolate covered pretzels. So I just dumped out a little bit on the plate so you guys can see the mix here. These little chocolate covered pretzels. Oh my gosh, these look so good. Um, Tim, what are you going to go for first? Well, let's let Benson pick. You want one of those? Yeah. Benson pick actually one. loves nuts, so. Pick whatever you want. There goes Orangey. Okay. Oh, you're picking uh -oh. the white pretzel with the chocolate covered drizzle? I got the. Are we all doing pretzels? Okay. I mean, that's, fine. that's my favorite. I'm doing the dark chocolate pretzel. Mm. 
You can't really go wrong. <laughs> yeah. If I'm grading just that, it's delicious. It is. I mean, I think everybody knows what else like uh, almond tastes like and things like that. True. So. Well, what are these? These are like... And what are these? It's like dried cranberries? Yeah. Cranberries. Oh my gosh. Pumpkin pie spice pecans. Yum. They need to make a whole bag of those. I just had one. Is that what this is? Oh yeah. Oh, oh you got a big one. They're, yeah. They are delicious. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh. Those are so good. Those are very good. Trader Joe's, please make a full bag of those. Mm -hmm. I would buy them. Those are delicious. Everything else is just like almonds, pistachios, cranberries, things that we've all tried before, but I just want to buy a couple more bags and pick out all the pumpkin pie spice pecans out of this. Woo, they're good. They're too good. Too good. Okay, last thing we're going to try is the snowball cookies. Because I told Benson that he can have a cookie in the taste test. Bam! Another bag. <laughs> oh, these are cute little snowball cookies. Do you want one? Mm -hmm. Okay, here you go. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you, honey. You're welcome. Mmm. Mmm, lemony. Yeah, that was interesting. So How do like chewy? It's weird. It's it's soft and chewy on the outside, so it's like coated. Oh, it tastes like ginger now. But it's like a crunchy cracker on the inside. Mm-hmm. A crunchy cookie on the inside. Yeah, you get the chewy bits of the ginger in here, and then you get that spice kick. Ooh, these are good. I love ginger though. These are very heavily gingered. So if you like yeah. ginger, you'll probably love these. Um, it's it tastes like I just had a ginger chew, honestly. So so delicious. I don't really like ginger, uh, so that's why I don't like these ones. Mm. Um, they're all right. At first, I was like, oh, that tastes good. And then I was like, oh, not really so much for me. So this box can be for you and Benson. <laughs> what do you think, dude? Do you like them? Good. Yeah. Oh, they're good. Okay. <laughs> I mean, these can go out to Santa. Yeah, I'm sure Santa would love this. Santa would love them. All right, well that does it for this week's taste test. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to enter into the mystery bag giveaway contest and make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you turn on those bell notifications. I know I've hauled so many holiday goodies, but I'm telling you there is still more to come. So make sure you're staying up to date by watching all my videos. I post once a week at least, and we always do a taste test to let you know how the new things fare in our family. So please comment down below what your favorite thing we tasted is, what your favorite moment from this taste test was, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.